Hello. I didn't see you there. I just got the paperback copies of James and the Dragon today, and I was looking over them, and you came to visit me in Morocco. How nice. Let me put down my book, and I'll give you a tour. This is my escape. Originally built because Dad is hard of hearing, and I had a really difficult time with the volume of the TV. So it started out just as a covered porch, and it got kind of carried away because I just kept making and making and making. So there's a shelf here that has the candles on it. Put a lot of frou-frou stuff in here. I wanted it to be really spectacular. So here's another chair over to the other side, which you don't see much of. But let me tell you about this little tray down here. I actually made this. I went to Craft Warehouse and I bought the beads and laid them all out individually. And then I actually, let me get down here really close so you can see it. I actually poured a resin over them. And so it makes for a nice flat surface for everybody to put their drinks. There's my Tibetan singing bowl. Don't know if you guys know about those, but they're used for meditation purposes. My candles. If we pull back a little bit here, you can see some of my corkscrew dogwood out of the um, garden that I painted gold. This happened over the course of a couple of years. It originally started because Dad was sitting where these two chairs are to our right, and the sun was in his eyes, and he wanted a drape up there. So we ended up making the drapes. We bought the tiles that run on the either side of the other door and um, colored those and put little beads in them. Dad took the light there that's in the corner. It was originally meant for a candle, and he wired it. And you may be hearing that little trickling sound. Well, that's my little bubble pot over here. And for those of you who have read some of my books and you've read We Three, you know that my mom really, really liked giraffes. And that little giraffe in the corner is mom keeping me company in here. We have it all wired so that I have light. I have a fan down here. And it's also a heater during the early fall when it gets kind of chilly in here. And across from where I was sitting before, I'm going to sit back down so you can see this. Across from where I was sitting before is this view. So the tapestry is from a place called Carson, Washington. And gosh, wouldn't you know that someplace in Carson, Washington would have a tapestry with a camel on it. Can you believe that? And up above, those are actually tabletops. And I created them the same way as I created the trays. And um, Dad put little hooks on the back of them so I can hang them on the wall. And when I don't need them here in the Moroccan room to serve tea, then I can actually just have them hanging there as art. One is sunset and one is moonrise. And lots of candles and lots of frou-frou. Lots of jewel tones. And then the actual hanging beads, which were pretty difficult to find. And now we're gonna head outside, well, into the other portion, because it's not really outside. It's still under a trellis out there. But we're gonna look at the outside area as well. Hold on. So this is looking out the back door, which is the dining room door, and into the Moroccan room. And we're gonna right there to the left there. See, you can see the beaded curtain. That's where we were before. We're gonna walk out here and I'm gonna show you the outer area. It's like the second room. It's nice because it has screened in area and there's no bugs to get in. There's dad's really nice lounge chair with all the padding on it. You can see out there to the porch swing, back there toward the back. And then look, Daniel and Sarah are here visiting us. There they go. And, and there's the lounge or the rocker that we all sit on there. Aha, uh -huh, it even works, da -da. Oh, and my curtains, I actually, that's actually a curtain and a table runner that's on there. 
Oh, they're going to move so we can see. But the curtain came from Pier 1. It only cost $20 on sale because they only had one left and everybody needs two curtains. But I used it for a cover. And then the table runner, I just like the little beads on the edge. It made it look like, you know, it was frou-frou, you know, like Morocco. And then the carpet here is an indoor-outdoor. You can actually get it wet and that's the kitty's water dish. And over here in the corner are some plants that were given to me. And that little, well, I don't know what you call those, but some kind of a pitcher of some sort. That's actually from a friend named Karen, and it actually came from Turkey, which is neat. Here's another one of Daddy's nice rewiring jobs. And then, if you see, there's lights in the ceiling, which is really, really cool at night. It gives you a very magical kind of feeling to it all. And it all looks out on the pretty garden there. So, um, I'm going to close for now, and we might do a little bit in the evening so you can see the lights really well, and maybe I'll lay on the lounge chair when we do that. Here we are see out in Morocco at night. And it's a celestial garden above our heads. It looks like a cosmos with all the pretty little twinkly lights up in the trellis. And if we look down this way, we can see the reflection and the lights from inside the Moroccan room where we started out this morning. And it's just my wonderful little getaway here wanted to show it to you and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing it in the evening light as well as the day. I'm so pleased you came to join us here today and see the Moroccan Room and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I hope you'll come back again soon and have another glass of tea. Take care. <laughs>